It is an honor and my great pleasure to speak to you as the 43rd Surgeon General of the United States Army and the Commanding General of the Army Medical Command. The past 10 years have presented Army medicine with challenges such as supporting a two-front war while simultaneously delivering health care to our soldiers, families, and retirees and our veterans. Our successful accomplishments are the result of your phenomenal resilience and the innovative spirit I thank all of our soldier medics, civilians, military families, and contractors for all you have contributed. I'd like to introduce my Command Sergeant Major, Donna Brock. Sergeant Major Brock has served as a medical NCO in all capacities, both TONE and TDA. I have great confidence in the future of Army medicine, knowing that Command Sergeant Major Brock will be at my side. Hello, I'm Command Sergeant Major Donna Brock, Senior Enlisted Advisor to the Surgeon General and Command Sergeant Major of the Army Medical Command. I'm honored to be working alongside the Surgeon General. I've served amongst the ranks as a medic since I was a private. I've learned much about Army medicine while deployed and at fixed facilities. I also want to extend my thanks for all that you do and will continue to do for Army medicine. I also want to thank Lieutenant General Eric Schoomaker on behalf of the entire nation for his leadership and dedication to service. General Schoomaker envisioned a system for health that spans a continuum of care from the battlefield to American neighborhoods where our military families live. We will continue to create a system of health built on a foundation of trust that enables personalized outcomes for each soldier and the soldier's family. I thank General Schoomaker for his great vision and dynamic leadership. His leadership put Army Medicine in a position to build on the past and forge ahead into the future. To meet our future goals for the fifth largest healthcare organization in the world, we must continue to develop adaptive, innovative, and decisive leaders who ensure a positive patient experience and maximize readiness. I admire our leaders at every level who helped to make us America's premier healthcare organization and the most respected medical command in the world. We have served side by side with our sister services in Iraq and Afghanistan and at home we will continue to strength, strengthen those collaborative partnerships including with the Veterans Administration, our military health system TRICARE partners and civilian organizations to provide responsive quality, cost-effective, relevant, and outcome-focused health care. Trust is the foundation of everything we do. General Raymond T. Odierno, Chief of Staff of the Army says, trust is the bedrock of our honored profession. Trust between each other, trust between soldiers and leaders, trust between soldiers and their families and the Army, and trust with the American people. Army medicine is part of this bedrock that supports our soldiers and Army families. I can think of nothing I respect more than the Army family. Our soldiers could not accomplish what they do without knowing their families are behind them here and at home. Military spouses are just as brave as their deployed husbands or wives. The Army family is the backbone of Army strength and the force behind the force. General Martin Dempsey, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs, has said, we must keep faith with our military family. This includes the families of active duty, guard, and reserve, and our veterans. They have sacrificed to make our future secure. It is the job of Army medicine to care for them. I was humbled and honored to witness battlefield medicine at its best in the joint environment at the point of care. As the leader of a comprehensive health service support assessment team in Afghanistan, my team and I critically assessed our medical capabilities and provided recommendations for improving the efficiency of health services delivered to service members within the Combined Joint Operations Area, Afghanistan. Through this experience and assessment, I developed an inspired understanding of the challenges and opportunities ahead for Army medicine. Our experiences in Iraq and Afghanistan have strengthened our capacity and resolve as a healthcare organization and medical command. You have clearly demonstrated your steadfast commitment to the best Army in the world. You are continuously delivering exceptionally high quality medicine in the face of some of the most difficult medical challenges ever faced. 
Army medicine has many components that mesh well for success. Medics and therapists, researchers and public health workers, dentists, veterinarians, nurses and administrative and logistical support. Army medicine is a strategic capability for our nation. It has been tested over the last 10 years, and out of this test, it has emerged stronger and more determined and has earned the respect of the nation and the international community. America knows its sons and daughters will get the world's finest health care if they are ill, wounded, or injured. Through 10 years of persistent conflict, we have learned that we can adapt and innovate to handle every medical situation from battlefield trauma to improving access for the Army families in our communities. I have served shoulder to shoulder with this medical team of dedicated professionals. I have been with this team through their darkest and brightest days. I know firsthand what we are capable of and I am honored to have the opportunity to serve with you as we shape the era of possibility that is before us. Together, Together we are Army Medicine, Medicine, serving to heal, and honored to serve. We thank you for all you do. God bless you and your families, and God bless the United States of America. Whoa.